So speculation around Ubisoft has continued to circle since I made my last two videos on this topic, with some commentators going so far as to suggest that if Assassin's Creed Shadows doesn't turn out to be a big hit, the company is on the verge of bankruptcy. In this video, I want to actually break down where we're at with this drama using the available information that is public, and then at the end, I'll make a few speculative guesses about where Ubisoft will be if it turns out, as it very, very much looks like it will, that Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be an absolute horrific flop. So let's do a bit of a quick recap here. Back in 2020, when everyone was locked inside their homes, computer gaming stock rose exponentially. Every tech and entertainment sector was doing very well, but computer gaming exploded to new heights, and almost every major AAA studio was making bank on their publicly traded stock, if in fact they are a publicly traded company. Except for Ubisoft, whose stock began to decline back in 2019 and has continually declined since then, down to the ground. Then we get the release of Star Wars Outlaws, which has proven to be the last straw for investors, who come out and allege that the Goulamont brothers, who are the majority shareholders in the company, are intentionally creating uncertainty around its future to lower the share price so that they can buy more shares in their own company. Hold this in your head, it's going to be important later on in the video. Now, regarding the claims that Ubisoft are about to go bankrupt, I can say that a lot of this is just clickbait. There is absolutely no data that I've seen that shows that their financials are in dire straits because a lot of people don't seem to understand the difference between a company having cash on hand, which is what causes you to go bankrupt when you don't have any anymore, and the stock price. Ubisoft's current sales last year were up 8%, which is not bad. But remember, these greedy investors don't want to make some money they want to make all the money in the world with the money that they're putting into the company. And the share price has continually declined in spite of those profits because there is a lot of underlying uncertainty about the company. Again, we'll get back to that later. The real mystery here is how is a company that last year surpassed their sales targets by 15 million euros have such a poor stock price? Well, the first answer, I think, is something that we gamers are all aware of. And guess what? A lot of those investment firms, they watch YouTube. They watch YouTube commentary channels. They get a sense of the feeling and the vibe of the general industry. And the vibe of the general gaming environment about Ubisoft is that Ubisoft are a terrible company. Their launcher sucks. They garner controversy everywhere they go at the moment. People have come to loathe the way they put microtransactions in games. Skull and Bones is a game that is sort of scraping by and making a bit of money when everyone had expected the first quadruple a game to be this massive success investors are looking at the way we as gamers feel about ubisoft which is let's be honest mostly negative and saying to themselves hmm are those people still going to be buying an ubisoft game in 15 years and the answer i don't know about you but i know about me is no no i won't be buying ubisoft games in 15 years so while their attempts to milk things like the success of the Assassin's Creed franchise right now might still be bringing in the dough, they might still meet their sales targets for Assassin's Creed Shadows, even if a lot of people don't buy the game due to recent controversy and just a more general lack of enthusiasm for the franchise currently, scraping by and hitting their sales targets plus or minus a few million euros is not going to settle the more deep concerns that investors have about the company, because ultimately we, the consumer, are concerned about the company. This is sort of the non-dramatic reason why investors are concerned and the stock price go down, because number go down, because rich man worry about money. But there is a more sinister kind of dramatic reason for this stock decline that's been floated lately. I go into the actual financial details of this in a video I recently made on the channel, which I'll put up here and I'll link below. Check it out if you actually care about the more nerdy stuff, but I'll summarize it here for you. Keep in mind the things I said at the start of the video. Now, remember when I said that the majority of the shares in Ubisoft are owned by another company called Gulamud Holdings, which is the set of brothers that have ran the company since its inception. Now, the other shareholders in the company are accusing them of intentionally creating uncertainty about the company's future, which they're very able to do, given the fact that they're in charge of it completely, that is from a creative direction, so that they can buy back more shares for themselves. But this raises the question, why do this? What's the point of tanking the company you're running so that you can buy more shares in a company whose stock is low? And here comes the sneaky answer. The majority shareholder, not in Ubisoft, 
but in Ubisoft's parent company, that is the Brothers Holding Company, is Chinese conglomerate giant, owner of League of Legends and Valorant, Tencent. The accusation here, made not by me, small YouTuber, but by the Ubisoft minority shareholders, is that the brothers are creating uncertainty about the franchise so that Tencent can come in using them as a sort of proxy company and buy out Ubisoft and control those bits of intellectual property. As I said in my last video, one of the things the investors were super concerned about was the lack of use of the Prince of Persia IP. They said it was unfathomable that Ubisoft hadn't been making Prince of Persia games over the last few years or even done anything to license the IP out to other developers to make money off it. The only explanation they could come up with to explain this was that the heads of Ubisoft were intentionally misusing or failing to use the IP in order to lower the stock price. Now, they don't explicitly say that this is so Tencent can step in and that Tencent are the spider controlling all the strings behind the scenes, but it's implied. The minority shareholders, by contrast, are saying to the board that the company should go private. And they're saying that while they control 50% of the board and 70% of the shareholders, they can probably do this and force the brothers and Tencent out of this scheme that's being alleged. Who will win in this corporate battle? Well, no one knows right now. But the question for this video is, how does the Assassin's Creed Shadows launch fit into all this? I think the only answer we can give now is that if Assassin's Creed Shadows does have a launch that is way below sales targets, both of these attempts may be sped up. If the stock price crashes even lower, Tencent are likely to sweep in and buy up the rest of the company. On the other hand, if it has a very bad performance, it's likely to maybe get some of the more moderate investors believing in this theory and more willing to fight back, take the company private again under new management, and get rid of the Gulliman brothers once and for all. Overall, my personal belief of what would be best for gamers at the moment is that I would like to see the company taken private. Once they're a private company, I think they're more likely to use their IPs well, and I also very much want to see the current heads in Ubisoft gone. If you watch my channel, you know one of my opinions on the whole Assassin's Creed Shadows drama is that it's been a long time coming, and Ubisoft have always done this sort of roguish, playing with fake history thing for a long time. It was kind of cool and edgy back in maybe 2010, and it's got really no future in the modern era. And I think all of their franchise and IPs need new direction and new leadership and to really get back on track and, you know, use those IPs in a way that uh, is profitable for them and fun for us. Because at the moment, other than Rainbow Six Siege, if that's your kind of thing, I really feel like Ubisoft owns so many great IPs, you know, from Prince of Persia, Assassin's Creed, Rayman. I just feel like they could do so much better with all the money and clout they have. And it seems like every year they fail to. That's just my opinion. If you enjoy videos like this, click the like and subscribe button. It doesn't really do anything on the current YouTube algorithm, but it gives me that little dopamine hit. And I really hope to see you guys in the next video because this is going to keep developing. And until then, peace.